The creative work of 43 artists is available for everyone to see and enjoy outside of the Helsin Gallery, in a space that's specifically intended to be accessible to art enthusiasts, as well as those who would not usually attend a gallery. Art is something that people need to see. It uplifts them. I mean, it's also an educational thing. Like, if you can understand art, you can understand a lot of different aspects of the world. Understanding Becky D'Onofrio's work starts with knowing that she prefers painting watercolors and pastels, because for her, it evokes feelings of nostalgia. So a lot of my work, I guess, the ideas that I'm trying to get at are, are sort of these ideas of, of mindfulness, of being comfortable with yourself, being comfortable with your community, being comfortable with your surroundings and, and the world around you. Seeking comfort became a feeling she wanted to express after finishing school in 2019, then being thrown into a pandemic at a time when she was just trying to figure out who she is as an artist. That sense of chaos inspired some of her work. So things being so, so chaotic and not knowing what to expect, I was definitely retreating into that sense of, of, of comfort and nostalgia and, and kind of not necessarily trying to grasp at what was, but trying to figure out, in a sense, what was important, what were the things that brought me comfort, and how can I bring that to where I am now. Another of the artists, Robert Attrell, finds comfort, familiarity, and inspiration all within his own little corner of the world on his farm. On my property, I have a pond, I have um, a pine forest, I have a stream, there is rocks and rivers, open sky, and those are the things that I'm seeing and observing every day and seeing the, the change of the seasons um, and the influence of nature and the impact of that just comes out in my artwork. Art that he creates with an interesting mix of media, oil paint and cold wax, which is a beeswax. Uh, the thing that I liked about it that, it, that attracted me was the fact that it, it was very textural and um, I wanted to, to have that in my work. I didn't want something glossy and smooth. I wanted it to be high texture. A lot of my work is also more abstract, where I'm um, more uh, free-flowing, uh, bold colors, but still I'm being inspired by what's surrounding me. And the opportunity to share the final creation, to let the community see your creative vision, is what this exhibition space is about, whether you're a professional or a hobbyist. It's encouraging, right? Like it makes those hobbyists want to pursue it more and feel good about the art that they're making and they should. This is very uh, beautiful pieces of artwork that people have produced in our community and uh, it should be valued and should be shown. And this is just an opportunity for, for at little cost for people to come in our community and purchase a piece of artwork that they can connect to gives me a sense of being a part of my community, which I mean, at the end of the day is, I think what we all want is to figure out how we fit and uh, how we are a part of our, you know, bigger community. Um, art is one of the things I love most. And if I can, you know, any time I get a chance to really be who I am and also get to do that in the community, I mean, isn't that what we all want <laughs> in a sense, right? To do the thing we, we love. So far, 18 pieces have sold, and the show is still on until February 26th. Jason Trout for Halton News in Halton Hills.